Hello everybody and welcome to episode 12 of Tenting with Keith Journey to the Caribou Chilcotin So today me and Lucy are on the ferry And we are heading to the interior of British Columbia Specifically the Caribou Chilcotin region It's about uh, a 5 hour drive north of the city of Vancouver My hometown, Williams Lake, we'll be hitting there as well uh, I'm pretty excited. It's been a year since I've been up in that country and uh, Yeah, we're gonna do some camping along the Fraser River uh, Gang ranch country high desert scrubland uh, It's beautiful country beautiful country. I say that about Vancouver Island and it is beautiful, but up there It's just a little bit different. It's bigger wider open country and we're gonna have a look around gang ranch churn Creek the Fraser River, hopefully camp out above the Chilcotin River at a viewpoint that I found last year. I'm super stoked. If the weather holds, it's going to be so incredible. So yeah, that's what's happening on this journey. Plus a little special surprise I will reveal later on in the video. Um, yeah, so cooking, we're going to be cooking up a beef stroganoff from a campfire cookbook I brought along and uh, yeah just get out in a boat and explore and I am excited so welcome back everybody and uh, we'll see you a little later down the road talk to you later bye bye Hey, good morning everybody. I made it through night one of our great adventure. Uh, ended up getting to just northwest of Clinton. Camped at a little place called uh, Beaver Dam Lake Recreation Site. Less than a dozen campsites here and they're spread out so you got some good privacy which is nice. Beaver Dam Lake, check it out. And now we're going to head a little bit more northwest and uh, get down to the Fraser Turn Creek Bridge or Gang Ranch Bridge, some people call it. And we'll check things out around there. So yeah, let's continue on. Happy trails.
Okay guys, I am back. I've been traveling for a couple hours now and uh, we're into the uh, kind of the stepped canyon lands along the Fraser River here. Gang Ranch is off to the west. Uh, Williams Lake is that way. Home is that way. But uh, yeah, this is this is definitely one of my favorite spots. There's a great little campground down by the bridge there. I'll show you in a little bit. But uh, it's definitely one of my favorite spots. And when I say it's one of my favorite spots, I mean it's one of a hundred of my favorite spots. It's just stellar out here. This, the, the, the video doesn't even do it justice out here. It's just huge, big sky country, canyon lands, like high arid desert. It's just incredible. Just incredible, incredible out here. I love it. I love coming back here. So yeah, let's go have a look and uh, continue on. Okay, people, well, that's Churn Creek and uh, the Gang River Bridge or Churn Creek Bridge over the Fraser River. Again, just stellar, stellar country. I'm so happy I get to be out here and just take all this in. It's just, it's incredible. I keep saying it, but I love where I live. And uh, just to go out and see something like this is just spectacular. So, yeah, hope you're enjoying the ride, guys. We're going to head to the final destination. we got to go through Gang Ranch and then a little viewpoint overlooking the Chilcotin River. I don't know if someone's going to be camping there or not, but we'll check it out and see what happens. Okay, we'll see you in a while, guys. Bye for now.
Okay, everybody, I uh, made it to our home for the night. We've been on the road for, for four or five hours, just back roading through the gang ranch country and stopping and checking stuff out, taking some pictures, seeing a nice little black bear. I couldn't get a picture, he moved too fast, but he was a, he was a big, fat, healthy black. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is our campsite for the night. There's a little bit of a hill climb to get up here, which was kind of fun. But once you get up here, this is what we're confronted with. The Chilcotin River running through these canyon lands to the Fraser River. It's just absolutely stunning. Again, the video just doesn't do it justice, but it's so beautiful out here. I'm just up the south side of Farwell Canyon, a few miles. I mean, I'll tell people where I'm at because anyone that's going to make the effort to come out here is going to actually enjoy it and hopefully not trash the place. But I can't wait to get the drone up in the air. Look at that river. Look at the color of that river. It's just, it's incredible. So yeah, this is home for the night. I'm going to set up camp. Lucy's right here with me. We're going to set up camp and uh, put the dinner plan together, maybe have, have a drink and enjoy the spectacular scenery. Caribou Chocotin. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, see you later guys. My view for the evening. It is scorching hot up here. It is crazy how hot it is on October 2nd. Grasshoppers are going mad. The sun is beating down. It's unbelievable. Okay guys, let's get going for dinner. It's uh, starting to get late, it's starting to cool off a bit. So let's cook some dinner. I happen to find this uh, company's cooking cookbook, Campfire Cooking Edition, from a fellow online that suggested it. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm not really gonna be camping or cooking over the campfire. Uh, I'm going to be cooking kind of beside the campfire with my trusty old stove. So we'll call it campfire cooking, but it's actually camp girl cooking. So today I want to make, I've been excited about this. I've been looking at this for a couple of days and I wanted to get out and try this one here. This is what we got is beef, great outdoors beef stroganoff. So simple, simple recipe. We're going to cook it up. So ingredients for the uh, great outdoor beef stroganoff. We got uh, some ground beef. We got an onion. We got some beef broth. We're gonna add water, sour cream, peas, cream of broccoli soup, and of course the egg noodles. We're gonna mix that all up once it's cooked up. 
and uh, give it a taste and we'll see how it looks. I think it'll be pretty tasty. I'm pretty hungry, so I'm excited to try this recipe. I've been wanting to try it for, for a while now, so let's give it a go. Uh, it's pretty basic. I'll uh, put the uh, recipe up, but it's pretty basic cooking, so I'm just going to go through it all off camera and then just show you the final product. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Cook the ground beef and the onion, remove that, get the noodles cooking with the beef broth and the peas and the uh, cream, of mushroom, cream of broccoli soup. And then, yeah, just mix it all together. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I got the ground beef browned. I put my broth, cream of broccoli and water. together got that boiling now and I threw in the egg noodles I threw in a can of peas instead of mushrooms I kind of switch things up a bit I'm not a mushroom guy so I'll go with peas and onions so we're gonna let that boil and then when that's done add the ground beef the sour cream and away we go and it has got dark fast out here. From when I started this meal, it was light out. And now we are cooking in the dark. But that is okay. Overcome. Persevere. <laughs> okay. We'll see you in a minute for the final taste test. Okay, so there's the finished product. The ground beef is back in with the noodles, with the broth, and the cream of cream of broccoli soup and the water and the peas uh, put the sour cream in last and mixed it all up doesn't really hard to see in the dark it's pretty much pitch black out now so it's crazy how dark how fast it got but we will see how this tastes okay camp fireside beef stroganoff company's coming campfire cooking edition Mm, it's good. It's really good. And thank goodness because there's a pile of it I got to eat. Of course, I've always made too much, but it can be breakfast or lunch tomorrow, I guess. Mm. Okay, people. That's dinner. It was a fun day. Got to see a lot of stuff. Beautiful weather. Now it's dark. Finish eating. Have a drink. Maybe sit by the fire for a minute. And, uh, and then hit the hay for another day tomorrow. Okay. Good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.